Because my fraps is not working, I am having to use Cam, not Camtasia, because that's not working either. I have to use Cam Studios, and uh, I'm going to be showing you how to make a, what in my opinion, which looks a pretty good YouTube profile picture. This is mine. I mean, I think that looks okay. And I made this for a friend. But, that's not important. We are going to be using GIMP and uh, Cinema 4D for this. There will be a link in the, the description for this file. You're just going to pull it out of the zip file and drag this somewhere and then open it. And then you get this. Once you're in here, you can uh, click on this bottom mode text, hit shift, and click this top mode text up here. Sorry guys, I forgot I set a timer one second. It's eight minutes, all right. And uh, you have all of them selected, and then you can change the text. We'll just do, well, I guess we'll just do my username. Predator9, and then you choose the font. I'm not going to use the one I've already done, because we'll just use Black Bankoff. Yeah, we're just going to use that. Alright, if yours is too long, like mine is, you can hit, I'll still have all of them selected and just drag it over. And you can try to angle it right, or how you want it. I can try to get it like that, so you know it's like 3D. How I did that is I hit 3 and a left mouse click to do that. Pan, I guess. No, because if you click 1 and stuff, that's pan. If you click, hold down 1 and then left click, you can pan. Yeah, that's pan. 2 is zoom in. And 3 is this rotating joint thing. Alright, let's get it like that. that looks good enough. Alright, let's add some uh, some color to it. Let's try orange. Uh, yellow to the next layer. Purple. Um, you can do this all like have the top one color and the rest like black if you want, but I like to have it multicolored. It's light blue back there. I don't really like that. Alright, let's see how this looks really fast, actually. <sighs> Render. Come on. Yeah, I think that orange is gonna be a little too dark. That first orange. It's okay, they have other oranges I'll use. Come on. Come on, computer. <sighs> okay, that's not... It's a good orange. So that actually looks pretty good. I might just, I'm just going to render it like that. Let's go to render settings, which is uh, this tab. Actually, I'm going to do that in, in my profile picture. I have it like cracked Let's see if I can find it really fast oh it's my GIMP folder alright you see how it's like cracked alright I'll show you guys how to do that because it might look pretty good so you click the first one this first Motex oh crap and you have to have the plugin uh, this Tharsi, whatever, Tharsi, Tharsi, and he's going to click it, and we're just going to do about 30, yeah, well, I guess we'll just do 30, and then we're going to break it, oh, I 
think the cap should already be on fillet. <sighs> Whatever, I'll have to check after this is done breaking. I probably should have grouped it first. Yeah, that probably would have been a little better idea to group it first. But, whatever. We'll do that in a second. Alright. So do these already have caps? Alright, those are already good, so... Let's actually, uh... Select them all by clicking that. Shift to the top one, or vice versa. Then MoGraph, Effector... Group. Select all of them, drag them into the group. Oh, I missed. Drag them into the group. And. Oh. And then have the group selected MoGraph Effector. I think it's Effector. Random. Yeah, and then drag the random into the group. Alright, now in random, we can, well, where was it, a factor? I thought it was, random, no, what was it, crap. There we go. So you go to deform point, and then turn it down really low to like two, three. Let's go 2.5. That looks a little too cracked. 1.5. Alright, that looks good enough. Let's. I'm just going to render this because. I don't really feel like looking how it looks, but you can render preview and uh, check how it looks. But real quick, for the all of this should be good, except I'm just going to change the uh, location of its saving. Let's call this FE Predator 9. Alright. And then let's close that and render it. So it's going to take a little tiny bit while it's rendering, and I guess I'll just have some parts for the Cinema 4D part, and then the GIMP part. But, we are just going to end the tutorial after this, after I show you how it looks. And if you guys don't want the breaking up effect, if you want a solid effect, like you want the whole text, then you can uh, delete it. Like, not go into the throusy, throusy steps I did. Because it's, it's a little more work, and it's also a plug-in that you have to get. Alright, I think it's done. Almost. Alright, so it is done. Go do I have the tutorial? Yep. Alright, and uh, here it is. This is how it looks. I think that looks pretty good. Looks broken up, but not too broken. Not actually look good, and like if you're doing like a montage and it's like have it fall and hit the ground, like break or like crack or have it hit glass or something. But that's gonna be the end for this because. I'm going to split this up into separate parts, and I'll come back to the next part.